PeaceBowl.com Presence Circle Concept Circle is a geometrical shape, which can be made by drawing a curve that is always at the same distance from a fixed point. The fixed point is called center of the circle. A circle is named by its center. Thus, the circle on the left is called circle B, since its center is at the point B. Let us learn some common terms, often used to understand circle concepts. In the same diagram, let us draw a few lines. From center to the outer ring, we have drawn four lines, which are AB, GB, CB, and DB. These lines are called radius of the circle. Radius of the circle always passes through the center and touches the outer boundary of the circle. Look closely, all these radii are connected through center of the circle, which is B. There could be any number of radii in a circle. The outer boundary of the circle is called circumference of the circle. Now, focus only on line CD. Length CD is called diameter of the circle. A diameter always connects two points on the circumference and passes through the center of the circle. As we can see here, the line CD is passing through the center B and connecting two points C and D on the circumference. Let us draw two more lines on the circumference. Here, straight lines EF and A are called chords. A chord connects any two random points on the circumference and does not necessarily passes through the center of the circle. Diameter is the biggest chord of a circle. Now, see the highlighted lines on the circle's curve. The curve length of EF and AE are called as arc of the circle. Arc is the circumference length of any two points on the boundary of the circle. Let us color some part of the circle. Look at the highlighted portion, ABG. This portion is called sector of a circle. Sector of a circle is enclosed by two of its radii. In this example, the curved portion of an arc, AG, enclosed by two of the circle radii, AB, and GB, forms a sector, ABG. Remember how pizza is cut in different sectors. Let us draw a line which touches the circle exactly at one point on its circumference. As shown in the diagram, the line XYZ touches the circle at the point Y. The line XYZ is called tangent of the circle. One point to observe here that radius to the point of tangent is always perpendicular to the tangent. So, BY is perpendicular to the tangent XYZ. Now, look at the line DE. The height of perpendicular line on any chord which divides the chord into equal parts is called as sagittal. The sagittal is a perpendicular line from the center of the chord to the arc. In the diagram, height of DE is sagittal. The line DE is dividing the chord AC into equal parts. Let us remove the perpendicular line, DE, and color the area enclosed by chord AC and arc AC. The area occupied by the chord AC and arc AC is called segment of the circle, as shown in this diagram. These definitions of the circle are basic definitions, and all should understand these terms before solving any questions based on circle. In next videos, we shall learn different problems based on circle. Thank you for watching.